All right, the people at Max Peating had sent me the airbag kit for the town car, which I showed you how to install that. And now I got my 15 F-150 here, and this is a uh, when towing level kit. I wanted to kind of put it together real quick just to make sure I had everything, just to make sure the kit is complete. And this is how, this is the just of it. This is how it goes together. cup with the long bolt here so it says one they're marked inside right and left or in the top like here or bottom I should say left and this one says right now I you know the messed up part about this is I am telling you in the beginning of the video they're marked left and right and later on in the video I actually make the mistake and put them on the wrong side and I'll show you what they look like on the wrong side now I can start taking those back apart get my truck up in the air get my bump stop out of here which, right there, take that out. Now in the middle of that bump stop is a 13 millimeter bolt that holds that assembly in. So you're gonna need a, what I did was I used a half inch drive long 13 socket with a half inch drive universal and about a 12 inch extension and an impact. And I pulled it right out. You get clamps, one goes on each side. You get a roll of airline. You get all your mounting hardware. You don't get an E63 AMG V12 twin turbo. This thing is super sexy. Oh no, SL65, sorry, AMG V12 twin turbo, not E63, SL65. Big difference, I made a huge mistake there. All right, I took 13 millimeters, took the bump stop out of here, and then I took the factory, factory bolt. I took the factory bolt, cleaned it up some, I put the mount up here loose, just kind of hanging it like so. Now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna, wait for him to finish over on the other side. I apologize, guys. This is a bit, we're an active shop, so you don't get it all cush. Anyway, uh, now what I'm gonna do is I take these these brackets here, just put it in the lower leaf spring a little bit. You don't need a, you don't need a vise or anything like that. And just bend them down a little, like give yourself a little bit of an angle. And then what you'll do is you'll actually you're able actually to fish this thing in from the back. There's an open hole back here. There you go. You got your hole right there. You can line that up and then you can do the same thing on the other side. Let me show you what the hole looks like. Right there. You see I got one in. Now I got to get the other one in and I'm kind of sitting here trying to align it and fight it at the same time. It can be a bear. It can be a bear, but you just got to work it. There we go. Now I got this in. I'm going to go ahead and snug everything up and get it nice and tight here. Well, here it is installed. It'll line back up once we get it on the ground. 
but I had to move these to the forward mounting points to get it to sit better. And then this, I don't know, it was it's kind of weird. I think this bracket, I noticed something that I did, and I'm gonna admit it and not edit it out. This is the left side, not the right side. We're working on the right side. I gotta change this bag out real quick. The bottom, I mean. Okay, it's done. Everything's back up. Gave you a little bonus in this video. Show you what it looks like. There's the bag install. I got it sprayed with surface shield, all the bolts, the correct the connections, the frame. It's not completely, completely done, but 95% done. Everything that I could spray that needs to be sprayed. You guys said you wanted to see a fluid film video. Well, here it is, fresh and wet. And you see the angle of that, how I realized I had that perched the wrong way. One says left, one says right. And that's what I realized, oh shit, that bag is not sitting straight up and down like it's supposed to. Do I got the wrong one? Then I looked at the bottom right there, and I can see right by that bolt where it goes through. In this part right here, pay attention to the double nuts that are on the U-bolts. Because the way they make the U-bolts for this truck, they make them, they're too long with no, the thread doesn't go all the way through. So, they should have put more thread on the U-bolts, and they didn't. So, when you go to put the nut on, without the spacers that I put in there, those extra, I think they're like 5 8 nuts. They're too big for... I just use them as spacers so there's something for them to clamp down against. Um, if you just put them on regular, they bottom out and they'll just pop and they'll strip out the threads. So you have to put spacers on those U-bolts or else it won't work. It shows uh, left and right and I was like, dang it, I got the wrong one. So what I did was I ran my airline from the top. You see how the airline goes up, goes over the bottom of the, the truck up there, through the ribbing, comes to the back. And there's actually two bolt holes right here. I drilled one of the bolt holes out, I ran my fittings through it, and then you can see, right there. I hit it, and then on this other side over here, same thing. Got my bag, ran my airline up through the ribbing, now I drilled the hole right there, and I put my fitting right there. So now it's hidden, I just gotta put the cap on it, I didn't know my guy didn't do that. But anyway, here's the underside of the truck. Pretty much self-explanatory how all this goes back together. If you follow the instructions that I showed you. Did the whole truck. See what it looks like six months from now or before the winter or whatever. And there you can see the inserts and they go back into the bracket. These don't take a lot of pressure. Let it all the way down. You see how I put them on an angle and I put the lock nut on this one. And this one over here, the way I did it, it didn't need a lock nut. I was able to get it to actually thread into the threaded area right there. Uh, by just drilling it out a little bit anyway it worked out you see that little dimple there and the dimple there they're almost identical this one's a little closer let's see what happens go ahead okay very lightly right yeah okay again again Again. 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 All right. Uh, now take the airline off of the air chuck. Okay. Take it off. And now pull the trigger on the air chuck to release the air. And it goes back down. Now let's check the other side as well. And now we are over on the passenger side and I'm gonna check for leaks and make sure everything airs up fine and lifts and does what it's supposed to. And you're ready? Oh, this one had some air in it because of inst the installation. Go ahead. It's leaking. There you go, go ahead, do it again. Go again. 
Okay, this time let it go way down. It's gonna go down. Lift it way up now. Stop. What I want you to do is I want you to lift it up and take the air truck off. Okay. Go up. Off. All right, it held. Yep, now bleed it out. All right, so we're good. And we are finally finished. Y'all have a great night. Actually, I forgot to tell you, the fluid film to do the whole bottom of this truck pretty heavy like we did was uh, eight cans. Um, took two guys about 40 minutes to do it. Really, really, really heavy. And it cost about 60, 70 bucks on Amazon for a case of eight. And uh, it is not really that stinky. A little smell to it, but not much. And it... I had a mess all over my face, oil on my hands and everything. It's messy stuff. Uh, so be prepared to wash up right away. I'd lay some cardboard and stuff out all over the floor when you do it. I didn't, and now it's kind of sticky. I gotta clean it up before I go home. So that's the fluid film. Uh, the, my first first thought is fluid film covers very well, but it's very messy. Uh, if I compare it to the spray of Surface Shield. I prefer the way Surface Shield sprays because I feel like it's a little cleaner and it lays out better. The fluid film is real heavy and gobby and just kind of gets all over. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Y'all have a good night. A little bit of a bonus video on the end here. Uh, the bolt holes that are in the side of your main bracket. These right here. The bag can actually be adjusted up or down if you want more or less lift on this bracket so if you want more the maximum amount of lift then you move the bag down to the lower set of holes i chose the upper two holes but that's just how i did it also in your kit you're going to get two long bolts with a center plate the center plate goes on the bottom of the bag and it's flipped upside down with the flat side towards the bag and then the long bolt goes through the hole of the bottom plate all the way into the bag if you choose to not use the plate and you want the bag to just bolt directly to the plate, then you'll probably have to move it to the lower set of bolt holes. And then you'll have to use, there's two smaller, chunkier bolts that go in the kit that are for that. I just kept it the way it was, put the plate on the bottom, built everything on the top, ran my bolt through with my cup underneath it. And uh, yeah, bolted it up like you see in this video didn't use the other two bolts and then there's four washers for something I don't know what they're for um, I did not use the four washers because they don't fit anything in the kit that I'm aware of and there's a series of there's a number of zip ties I didn't need the zip ties because of how I routed it and yeah uh, that's all I have for this video sorry to keep coming back but I just think about things and I'm like oh, I'm gonna add that in there real quick so y'all be blessed <laughs>